What's up guys, this is Soundwave Jordan here and we are back once again with another video regarding Transformers The Last Night. And that's right guys, we have some brand new news regarding Transformers 5 and it's nothing too big. In fact, this is more of a informal type of news because one of the producers, Lorenzo D. Bonaventura, decided to give us a little bit of insight of what's happening with Transformers 5 and I'm here to share it with you guys. First and foremost, before I go on to read this article, I want to wish you guys a... Uh, Happy holidays. I hope you guys are having a fun time with your families and a safe time with your families as well. New Year's is right around the corner. It's December 29th and, you know, things can get pretty darn exciting and hectic around New Year's Eve and New Year's in general. So I just want to wish you guys happy holidays and, you know, make sure you guys have a safe trip, safe times with your families and make sure, importantly, you enjoy yourselves. So just wanted to get that out the way. Let's actually read this article real quick though. <clears throat> Lorenzo D. Bonaventura explains Transformers 5 plot elements and the future of the franchise. Collider, a longtime friend of Transformers live action movie producer Lorenzo D. Bonaventura, sat down for a rather lengthy interview regarding Transformers The Last Night and the future of Transformers movies. Spoiler warning. Alright, so I don't know if you guys are going to read ahead of this right now because you know you guys get to see what's on my screen. But if you guys haven't read this, um, you know take this um, be careful with this because this is slight slight spoiler territory um, I, I kind of already glimpsed through this but it's not it's nothing too crazy but I just want to give you guys a warning so I'm gonna count from three to give you guys a little head start if you guys do not want to finish this video okay so three two one go okay so I'm gonna read this now you've been warned <clears throat> spoiler warning during the interview, the producer explains that the new movie will have two stories and in the end will come together. Additionally, Transformers 5 will set the foundation to the sequels as well as spin-offs. 2018's Bumblebee movie is in pre-production stage with Christina Hodgson as the writer. Mr. Bonaventura, under permission, includes several name drops during the interview which we think, I'm, I'm guessing that's a typo, but we think the fans of the franchise will surely like. As for the future, the Bumblebee movie may not have a lot of Cybertronians. Majority of the focus will be on our Yellow Autobot and the team hopes to film more spinoffs featuring other characters. Check out the full interview at Collider. So, we got to we, we got to talk about some things right now because Le Lorenzo just mentioned a very, very important thing. And that is right here. I'm going to highlight it. You guys heard me say it already. The producer explains that the new movie will have two stories and in the end it will come together. Now my question is, what are those two stories? Now I, I want to say those two stories are probably going to be focusing um, the past and the present. As you guys know, Transformers 5 will be focusing on King Arthur and how he's going to be involved with the Transformers. And I want to assume that that's going to be one of the stories. The story of Transformers 5, since Lorenzo just said is going to be is going to be two stories and in the end it will come together. I want to say for Transformers 5, the is going to be the past and the present. The present is going to be dealing with the Autobots and how they're going to be dealing with um you know Optimus Prime and you know how on um, or like how um what's what's going on and what's going on with the with Earth right now and the Transformers just everything in general. And the past is going to be focusing more on why the Cybertronians are attracted to Earth and you know as well as King Arthur how how do the Knights play a huge role into the Transformers lore that's just my guess I don't know if I'm explaining it correctly but that's just pretty much how I feel regarding the two stories coming together and that's just how I see they also say that Transformers 5 will set the foundation to the sequels as well as the spin-offs so if I were to guess I'm guessing Transformers 5 is it necessarily going to be the ending? As you guys know, each Transformers movie, there's always some type of ending, right? Like, n none of the none of the movies actually sets itself up for a sequel, except Transformers One. At Transformers One, at, after the end credits, you see Starscream um, leaving space in his jet. But um, none of the Transformers movies they, they don't actually set up like they don't set up a a proper sequel if you guys get what I'm saying I mean there are there are some things to notice like oh this transformer is still alive but they don't set it up if you guys get what I'm saying because um you know sometimes with a movie you set you set things up in a previous installment to get the sequel going like Star Wars Star Wars and the Empire Strikes Back and all of that 
you guys already know that something was going to happen with um, Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker with, and with Return of the Jedi, you know, it, it, set, it set themselves up. However, with Transformers 5, well, the whole Transformers series in general, I don't feel that way. And I'm guessing Lorenzo wants to change that because he's stating that Transformers 5 will set the foundation to the sequels as well as the spinoff. So I'm actually really, really curious on how that's going to happen. So, you know, just let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. He also gave us some insight from the Bumblebee movie saying that it may not have a lot of Cybertronian. So we're, pro we're probably not going to be seeing a lot of Transformers. We're probably going to see at least one or two Transformers. And I'm really curious on how that's going to be working out. I'm really curious on how this is going to be set up because a solo Transformers movie and who's going to be the antagonist. That's that's what I'm really wondering. So yeah guys that's all I really have to say for today though. Um you know this is pretty darn exciting because you know uh we got we got to learn a lot of more not a lot more but a, a slightly a bit more information of Transformers 5 and that makes me pretty darn excited because today we learned that there's going to be two stories and they will come together I told you guys my thoughts I think it's going to be based on the past and the present the past is going to be talking about how the Transformers are related to Earth or why are they always coming to Earth and it's going to be based upon King Arthur and the Knight's lore that's just my opinion and the present is probably going to be focused on the Transformers retaliation force or reaction force I can't remember the exact name I always forget and how the Autobots are going to be dealing with the present and the world of Earth of as it is now so yeah guys once again that's all I would have to say for today though I want to give you guys my thoughts my opinions and you know just give you guys my my input on how I just see this article so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below wait wait before I go something just came up what if the present, like, you know, the present story of the movie, of Transformers 5, what if the present is actually dealing with um, Megatron? I, I, I don't know. I, I just threw that out there. It, it, they just That literally just popped up in my mind. But needless to say, thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said, leave a, comment section, leave a comment in the comment section below. I would love to know what you guys think about this in general. So thank you guys for watching nonetheless remember to have a safe trip and happy holidays i will see you guys in the next transformers the last night video i will be making a new year's video as i've been doing for the last two years so you know we're going to be doing another one and it will be releasing sometime on new year's day so thank you guys for watching once again thank you guys for commenting thank you guys for liking thank you guys for engaging my videos it means a lot to me and i truly appreciate all of the effort so thank you guys so much so yeah, guys, I'm out. This is Simon Jordan here. Peace, late, and have a lovely, awesome day.